Longtime Arizona Senator John McCain has died. His death comes after a long battle with brain cancer, with his family announcing Friday he would be discontinuing his treatment. Here's more. We're no longer staring into the abyss of defeat. And we Unapologetic and unwavering, Genuine. Senator John McCain praised as a maverick and a larger-than-life force in Washington. For more than three decades, McCain served in the U.S. Senate, an Arizona Republican but known to dramatically break party lines. One of his final acts on the Senate floor, casting the deciding vote to doom the GOP's Obamacare repeal. I'm a fighter for this country, and I don't just say it. I live it. McCain started fighting for his country long before entering the halls of Congress. Born into a prominent U.S. Navy family, the son and grandson of admirals, McCain graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1958. A fighter pilot in Vietnam, McCain was shot down and held captive in a Vietnamese prison, the infamous Hanoi Hilton. Because of his father's rank, McCain was offered early release but refused and for nearly six years held and tortured as a prisoner of war. Nearly a decade later, McCain entered politics, first as a congressman, later senator, where he would be reelected five times. McCain's wife Cindy was often by his side throughout his political career, including his bids for president. Here's a little straight talk for you. In 2000, McCain lost a bitter primary fight to George W. Bush, but in 2008, he secured his party's nomination to face Democratic candidate Barack Obama. Despite the hard-fought campaign, McCain's principles were on display when he famously defended his opponent at a campaign rally. He's an Arab. He is not... No, man. No, 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 man. no, man. no man. He's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. In his final memoir, The Restless Wave, McCain mourned the loss of civility in today's politics. Before I leave, I'd like to see our politics begin to return to the purposes and practices that distinguish our history from the history of other nations. I'd like to see us recover our sense that we are more alike than different. Despite his storied military career, McCain says he never considered himself a hero. But for many in a grateful nation, he was the definition. John McCain and everybody like him is an American hero. John McCain celebrated for a lifetime of service to his country. Blaine Alexander, NBC News.